Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Bundesliga SPC card released today and his name is Kwaison. So with Kwaison's card, ladies and gentlemen, looking at a card that is six foot tall, medium, medium work rates, right footed with three star skills and a three star weak foot. So right off the bat, guys, three star, three star is not a great thing to have. He needs to have certain things on his card to make him incredibly usable. Now, obviously with the Bundesliga links and the fact that he is from Sweden, you have some pretty cool things working with you in in regards to that right i'm not sure who they're going to release as the league objective card you guys can give me some suggestions of who you think will be um the league card or the league spc bundesliga card but i'm thinking like if it was like forsberg or something it'd be kind of cool right but uh with this card, ladies and gentlemen, the base is not looking too great, so his attributes need to be really good. In regards to his traits, doesn't have anything too important, and his attributes actually do look quite solid. So again, if EA were to have given this card a 4-star, four 4-star, four or at least a 4-star weak foot, then this SPC would be pretty cool, but at 3-star, three 3-star, three it's a little bit underwhelming, but he could have very good off-the-ball movement with the 98 attacking positioning, which we will try out just on the basic chem style, just to see what we think would be best in the card. In regards to pace, you don't necessarily need to improve it you could obviously with either like a, a hawk chemistry style or you know um a Mar an engine chemistry style it really depends but i think like if you want to improve the shooting as much as possible a hawk would be kind of nice um his shooting stats in general are actually quite good as well with 93 shot power 94 finishing and 98 attacking positioning so the 98 attacking positioning with the six foot height and medium medium work rates all together with 68 aggression will be a very interesting thing to see with this card and whether or not he's actually going to perform better in game he does have passing abilities as well so with the medium medium work rates we are going to be trying this card out in the cam position as well because he could potentially play that role really nicely in all fairness to him if he's a three star three star uh, player, you know, you probably don't want to have that as your striker, but as a cam, it's a little bit more acceptable, in my opinion. Uh, dribbling. Dribbling, we're obviously going to have to test out because 90 agility, 91 balance, blah, blah, blah. All of his dribbling stats are actually at very, very good values. Now, we're going to obviously check out and see if I want to improve it because those dribbling stats with I don't know which body type he has in game, uh, but the six foot height and the physical stats being drastically increased there's a lot of variables to consider there right so we're obviously going to be testing out his dribbling and whether or not it makes sense to improve it as much as possible but uh yeah i mean in regards to how the card looks the only downfall of it is the fact that it is a four star four star player with medium medium work rates i personally would not suggest using him on the sides in the left cam right cam position because medium medium work rates is a very strange work rate to have there right but in the middle area of the pitch you're looking at some pretty decent work rate. So the way that we are going to be lined up with Kwaison and the team is going to be, you know, just some crazy tactics. We'll go ahead and use our possession-based tactics that we normally use, like four and two. Um, we'll have pressure on heavy touch for the players playing in the midfield. We'll go ahead and switch Witzel into the middle over there. We'll have Witzel playing in the CDM position with Kimmich, and then Kwaison will be playing up top. So again, we're not going to go put a chemistry style on this card just yet because we want to see you know, which one would be the best on him. The only thing that we're going to be doing on him is just balance instructions. The last thing that I have to check before I go into anything is his stamina, which I think he actually did have decent stamina. So he could play in the center cam position or striker position on comeback, 96 stamina, so not too bad. Um, we're going to go ahead and play him also on comeback in the fence. I like to review attackers because it just means that I can play normally. And when I play normally, it allows me to uh, test out the cards fully. So... It's pretty cool in regards to that. We're going to go ahead and switch this to just balanced. And then this guy will be on cut passing lanes. And we'll go ahead and trial the card like that. So let's see how he plays in the team. Hopefully he is at least fun to play with. All right. We'll go ahead and switch to our attacking tactics. Let's see how he plays. What's our dribbling like? Uh, it's something that you could improve. It's definitely something that you could improve. I'm playing against two people right now. Um... Yeah, I mean, if you could improve it a little bit, it would definitely be a beneficial thing. Maybe like a marksman chemistry style would be ideal because you would be boosting his shooting stats as well as his dribbling. So it could be an ideal situation to do. How do you move off my dribble here? Positions himself really nicely, in all fairness to him. The way he positioned himself in that situation to be on side was actually really, really nice. I like that he positioned himself up top after me using my ball rolls there, so not too bad.
Ooh, aggressive runner right off the right off the bat. That's pretty decent. Ball roll. Ooh, I did screw up that little run right there. Um, I am feeling that I do want to increase the dribbling as much as possible, though, guys. I am definitely feeling that for sure. Um, but I feel like if you do increase the dribbling, this card would actually be pretty fun to use. In all fairness. I'm really liking his attacking positioning right now. It's actually pretty solid. A nest shot from that angle? Ah, oh, not the greatest right there. You can kind of see the little drags that he does from certain dribbles. You don't want to you don't want to have a player that drags the ball that much. So improving his dribbling stats will definitely be a very important thing for this card for sure. But uh yeah, off the ball movement with this card is great and everything. It's a shame that they didn't give him at least the four star weak foot. Um, because there's a lot of potential with this card for sure. Yeah, that's good. He's actually choosing to go run upwards, and then he actually decided to go run downwards after I made this certain dribble. So that was pretty solid by him. Little power strike from there. Nice. Nice. He actually shoots that ball quite nicely. I think a marksman might be the most ideal situation for this card. Good. Stops his run right there. Makes that run right there. Nice little shield. Touch. Get into position right there. Ah, oh, we don't score the opportunity because my player takes a weird drag touch that I don't even expect him to do at all. You guys know the ice skates in this game. Little chip shot. Oh. Yeah, the thing that's definitely noticeably good on this card is definitely off the ball movement. His medium, medium work rates with his attacking positioning is actually working quite nicely. He definitely needs that dribbling boost, though, for sure. You definitely feel that. Nice pass right there. Let's see how he moves over here. Oh, this game is just responsiveness, man. Like, oh my god, what was that dribbling? I go upwards, my player keeps going to the left. Like, ugh. Oh. Good off the ball moving right there. Drag back first time. We take that extra touch. We Do we get the penalty? We do. I try to. I spam the R trigger right there for that Quison for him to hit that last second touch right there. So it's good that he actually got that off. He definitely needs to be improved with his dribbling, though. I always hit it to the right side, but I'm pretty sure I save it there every time. <laughs> there we go. Heal to heal. Get past the goalkeeper. We get a penalty right there. Should probably be a red card for the goalkeeper, but they never really give uh, red cards for these guys, so... Look, the mental game here, right, is that this is why it's good to take penalties a certain way. So he knows I'm going to hit this to the right side, right? So we're just going to hit the right side just for the sake of it, right? But he knows I'm going to hit that side again. So this side, you would probably go to the left side. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I lead him on. <laughs> Go into that space right there, Kwaizan. Right there. Yeah, there it is. At the bottom this time. Middle. Nice. Bam. Stop the run with him here. Make that pass. See what's up here. Make that run right there. Nice. That's exact. See, I like it. It's funny because he has, he has better off the ball movement than some of the players that have like crazy team of the season stats. Obviously, the thing that's wrong with this card is going to be responsive dribbling and the three star, three star, right? But uh, it's funny how I like his off the ball movement more than I like a lot of strikers in this game. Pass right there. Get back into the middle position, Kwaizan. Doesn't do it quick enough right there. You want them to, to understand that space is open right away, right? So Shot's too close. He won't score that opportunity. How about that? How about from that angle? <laughs> yeah, so when you shoot when you shoot that close to the goalkeeper, you're not gonna score that opportunity. I just like to test it out anyways to see if it goes through the goalie in a certain way or whatnot. But um Yeah. Touch, near post strike. Ooh, hits a post there. With increased shooting stats, he could have potentially scored that. Ball roll touch with your weak foot. Ah, it's too weak, man. It's too weak.
There we go. Nice little ball roll touch to get past the goalkeeper. See, when you get too close to the goalkeeper, you want to be able to do that ball roll touch just to get past them in those situations. Because if you're too close to the goalkeeper, you just won't score. FIFA mechanics. FIFA mechanics, ladies and gentlemen. FIFA mechanics. The defensive play there with Kwaizan. Let's see if he makes that run. He does. We'll force that to him here. Little body faint. We'll try a shot from this angle right here. Eh, nothing too crazy. We put more power into the shot, so it's going to make it less accurate in those situations. But, um, yeah. Oh, he actually takes a pretty solid shot from that angle. Not too bad. All right, guys, so final verdict on the Kwaizan card is that uh, it's, a, it's a usable concept card, you know? I do like his off-the-ball movement, and it's actually funny because I like his off-the-ball movement more than I like a lot of players in this game, right? And it, it works because the medium-medium work rates that he has with the 98 attacking positioning as base card stats um, and the 6-foot height that he has, I don't know, it just works really nicely. He always triggers his his own runs to the sides in the middle area, and I really like when the players do that, when I don't have to force them to do that, because when you have to force a player to always get in behind, it makes their play very linear, but when they trigger it themselves, it's definitely a, a better thing to have, right? In regards to the chemistry styles, I think the marksman chemistry style might be the best solution for the card, because I did feel like his six foot height was affecting his dribbling a little bit. So if you want to increase it just a tad bit to make him more usable, it would definitely be an ideal situation. I mean, for a concept card, if he had a four star weak foot, maybe I would be like, okay, 146K is not too bad. But in my opinion, the only reason why you would do this card is for a sentimental value in regards to having a Bundesliga team, or you want some Swedish links in the future, just mean, just in case they do like a, a Forsberg League SBC or something. Who knows, right? I don't know what they're going to drop. Um, Maybe even Danny Almo, even though he wasn't really there that long. So it's, it's EA. They drop, like, random players sometimes. They gave one to, like, Mariano just for scoring. He, they gave him a moments card for scoring in the um, in the Bar in the Real Madrid-Barcelona game in the last minute, right? So it just really depends. Do I think the card is worth buying? Not really. It's, it's definitely a concept card. It's something that you get for sentimental value. But uh, is he usable in game? Yeah, he's, he's pretty usable. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.